Hey folks, it's Tim. It's Saturday. Um, it's about 20 after 1. Um, decided to treat myself to a shave. And we're going to use Parasso cream today. Um, I put my, I'm starting to get in the hang of this stuff, put my normal like, razor blade length of cream in here. And uh, this is what we got. There's quite a bit in this bowl. Um, no idea how it's going to feel on the face, but it seems to be well hydrated. Well, I kind of knew part of the answer. It was going to feel quite chilly on the face because I have a window open. But it's very nice. The yeah, first couple of times I used this stuff, I just didn't give it enough water. I noticed the last bit of water I put in there, the amount of volume, the, the volume of lather I had doubled, which is cool. That explosion point seems to be where lather's in the sweet, sweet zone, or the beginning thereof. We're going to use the, uh, the Lord L6 again today, the LP. 1822, if you're trying to find it on Amazon or eBay. Might not be called the L6, but it will be referred to as the LP 1822. And uh, for S's and G's, I think I'm going to try a different handle today. There's the old handle. See what happens when you slap a mule handle on it. Well, that's good news. It threads on. Fits more securely. So now we have a shorter, weightier, ooh, weightier uh, razor. See what happens. And, make it extra interesting, I think I'm going to try and shave left handed. Could be a horrible idea. We're going to do three passes today. It is Saturday, so well, I'm not going anywhere near my sideburn with my left hand yet. Um, and I'm in no rush. I don't think this will get half hour long. No. That's just an awkward angle. Why well, cut myself? Um, but, you know, we may go a bit longer than normal. You guys are used to wildly varying lengths of these videos, so hang around. I was thinking about excuse me, sorry, uh, success versus failure with straight razors or straight style razors to include my shave at. Basically a quite uh, displeased with my ability to use my shave at. Thinking about, you know, why? Well, I can do well on parts of my face, the ones that I can get to easily with this hand, but as soon as we get over here, I start blocking vision, all of a sudden it, it goes to crap. So, I said, well, good straight shavers, or at least the guys that are uh, really good at it, um, usually use either hand depending on what side of the face they're shaving. So, why not learn to... Oops, that wasn't flat. Shave left-handed. I do have to say, it's quite easy on this side of the face. Maybe that's the trick. Use the left here, use the right here all kinds of field of view. So let's try that next pass. I suppose changing handles wasn't the best idea because 
well so far it's working well but I have no no base of comparison because of using my left hand I was listening to Roger Waters in the flesh live uh, before I well, while I was in the shower um, we are just out of a shower put some Paraso Pre on because I wanted to test basically a hot shower by itself see what we got prep wise as I was getting out I gave the old uh, face and beard some molestation and uh, the Paraso by itself works better than a hot shower now Noxema seemed to work nearly best of everything I've done but that's using it in the shower and some days you don't have time for that so I've been playing around with pre-shave rituals for what's acceptable in different situations and uh, the pro rasso after a shower that's quite nice um, very good and I'll get the uh, softening glycerin soap out again uh, this week, some next week sometime I guess it is Saturday I don't think I'm going to make the, the market proper there's usually a few vendors that are straggling till about three but I think it's actually done at two well, that's fine all I really wanted to do was get down to a chemist called Lloyd's and uh, <clears throat> pick up some glycerin I looked in Superdrug last time I was there I didn't see any and uh, the staff didn't know fair enough it's a bit of an odd request well maybe I don't know as most most people around my age what they know about glycerin and they'll say the bush song no Alrighty, back to the left hand. Hmm. My brain calculated the amount of pain that might be caused by, you know, going sideways like this and just said, eh, maybe you should wait. Baby steps, right? Hey, Beans. What's up? Sorry, there was a bit there that I had completely missed along the lines. And since this is about reduction, let's get it reduced. And this passes this way. There we go. Because I'm not used to thinking about angle with this hand. It is a bit awkward. Whereas this one, I'm just, yep, nearly straight out. That's about right. Groovy. Mm -hmm. oh, I love menthol. Mm -hmm. Well, I still got a 
crap load of leather. Leather. Lather left. Just the, uh... Mm-hmm. Jagger. Yes, it is pretty much my favorite brush. I like it. It's the soft, do-everything brush. And, you know, don't take that comparison as gospel or anything, because I'm just the dude who's tried a few brushes. The, uh, I'd love to have you know, one of everything ever made, but financial realities dictate that that's not really possible. Now, using this right-handed, it, uh, I do appreciate the fatter handle and that the weight has shifted down on the razor so it's a, the balance is a bit better. Although the balance isn't bad because of the length of the other handle. Um, it's a bit better with this. And we seem to be getting more stubble with it, which is cool. Against the grain, I'm not going to bother with the left hand on the neck and throat. That'll come in time. Can try on the old mug, because you know, what's the worst that could happen? I just cut the bejesus out of myself. So, smear a bit of this down. Give that a dunk. Good to say, pressure is uh, interesting. The wrist lock, locking of the wrist becomes much more intense and noticeable. And the speed and confidence of the stroke goes down, although the firmness of the wrist lock increases confidence a bit, or at least that's how I'm how it feels. I don't know, how do you try and describe what what your muscles are doing when it's all subconscious, but certainly what it feels like. But because we're going a bit slower, really being careful with the pressure, I think we might actually be getting a better shave out of this. It's certainly been comfortable so far. Um, I do like the Lord Platinum Blades so far. I really, I think I'm going to order a five or ten pack of them to try my other razors. But in this, they've been they've been pretty good. Um, kind of like my initial impressions of Personas. Very comfortable, very smooth, um, and varying in efficiency across all devices. Although always giving a solid shave, not necessarily a feather shave or astro shave. But, um, as my prep got better, my opinion on blades and my technique got better. My opinion on various blades changed. Okay, that's a little awkward. Let's go back to this. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
Alright, let's get a little more lather on this upper lip because this is kind of dried out and went flat. And then we'll just leave this down here because I'm sure we'll have touch ups to do. But, uh, this head on this handle is easily as. Well, I wouldn't say as good, but it's, uh, I would say playing the same game and nearly as well as the R89. Um, this is phenomenal. water on these fingers and steal this lather and kind of smear it around. Now the reason I use a really really watery lather for this, I wouldn't even call it lather anymore. It's kind of like lather in a solution. Is regular water is kind of not sticky but the surface tension of the water makes it too hard to feel tricky bits of stubble that are trying to hide from you. Like this guy here. Ah, got a weeper. I was expecting much worse carnage from this experiment, so uh, overall, a rousing success. Well, not a rousing, as in, mm -hmm, but, uh, you know, drop the A off the front. Still got some here. What the hell? Saturday. Feel great. Three cups of coffee. Now you can see I kind of come up an angle there. That's sort of the direction it grows. Although the stuff below about here kind of grows up in this way. So it's a uh, it's a really fun spot to try and clean up because of this bend. Just oh well. Mm, a little over here. <laughs> I know with the straight that would be a huge no-no to shave towards your hand. But Mr. Safety Bar here will keep my fingers in one piece. Kirby. Hey, uh, Paul, I watched your uh, new video with the uh, Omega brush and uh, the German Street Sensitive. Uh, quite a good shave, man. Quite enjoyed that. Uh, I hope your brush continues to deliver impressive and satisfactory experience for you.
Yeah, that was a bit wordy, but what the hell else am I going to do to kill time? <laughs> Why not speak when most people won't? From time to, you know, most of the time when you deal with people in life, you just don't have that much time. Hey, sup? You've abbreviated what's up, which is already kind of, you know, an abbreviation via the contraction what is, to just sup. Uh, sometimes I wish modern life would slow down, but this is my way of making that happen. The unfortunate thing for you guys is you have to listen to me try and fill the time. It's like a uh, stand-up comedian starting out, you know. Signing up to do a half hour when they've got maybe ten minutes of material. Uh, and Adzi. As far as, uh, oh, I got a rinse. The Top Gear thing, I did comment back. I would. I would, uh, I guess I'd throw in, I don't know if you mentioned Astra SPs. But I would. Running down. I would uh, kind of say that they're the Mark One Golf GTI um, because they're cheapest chips. Uh, fairly unassuming if you've never seen or heard of them before, and uh, just amazing fun and unparalleled value for money. I do love this time of year. Water is so cold. Way to go, dummy. Guess if we're gonna go with gray flannel today. Now brute would be overpowering. Puck our band's a little weak. I guess we'll just use the uh, Boots Organic Rosewater Toner. Well, I said a little. I got a lot. Mmm, 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 mmm. Now also, uh, in the shower today I decided to uh, treat my face. Just uh, washed it with my Turkish horse brush and a bit of Arco. Just knocked down the uh, oops, chunk of fuzz, the dry stuff that uh, doesn't always see a brush, you know, here, here. So that went well. Get out the old L'Occitane Ultra Rich Face Cream, I think it's called. I don't know. It says something in French on it, and then it says 25% shea butter. I'll plop a bunch of this on. This is quite good stuff. And really seems to be uh, working out well for me. It, uh, it doesn't overdo this bit of my face, but it does exactly what I need for, you know, T-Zone. Well, that's cool. Maybe I can stop looking uh, so much like a man with a serious skin problem or something like that. And it's thick. Takes some effort to work in and around. So now I feel a bit... Uh, I can get my Steve on. There we go with that. This guy back. And for our finale, I busted out the two ounce bottle of the gray flannel. Which I'll be honest, is a huge pain to use without an atomizer. And holy crap, that was a lot. We'll just pat, pat, smear, 
wipe on the wrist. Hopefully, that'll be a decent application. Because some days I put it on entirely too light, and it's amazing for an hour or two, and then it goes skin scent. And then one day I put it on a little heavier, and it was just uh, screaming with a megaphone and a PA system. Hey, check me out. I am a, you know, fragrance superstar. This is a supernova. Pay attention. Um, so, yeah, that's that. That's the shave of the day. Hope y'all had a good week. Hope next week goes well. And, uh, you know, take some time. Squeeze in a good shave this weekend for yourself. Lock the door. Mute the phone. Put on some music. And just enjoy. Um, probably do a video tomorrow, too, especially if I get some glycerin. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah. From, uh, from Ely. For me, Tim, have a, uh, have a good one, guys. Have some good shaves, and we will catch you next time. I do have a quick request uh, of you good folk. I was wondering if any of you had any ideas for a better way to store... Oh, let's see. Two, four, six... Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine... Nine-ish razors, because, uh, you know, I'm going to end up with more. But, uh... Turn that all the way down before I get bitched at by YouTube. But you can see my uh, rack is filling up a bit, and I don't have a load of space. Oops, sorry about the jumbling and the lens cap. Uh, so, any ideas you have, you guys have, I'd love to hear. Uh, I do have some plexiglass downstairs that I haven't felt like uh, messing about with a whole lot yet. But uh, I think I will uh, try and cut some. I have a heat gun, I have a jigsaw, and uh, I might try and come up with something, but I don't know. I was looking at test tube racks and stuff like that. So, yeah, let me know in the uh, in the comments what you guys with lots of razors do. Uh, like I said, I don't have room for a big display case in here. I thought about taking my fragrance cabinet and putting more smaller kind of broom handle hooks on it. Uh, and putting all these over there, but then it's not as convenient for me to just, you know, grab razors. Um, so I would kind of like to keep it in this area. So, again, shoot me any ideas. Thanks, and take care.